Who is Christ to you? A history lesson? Someone who existed some time ago and did some wonderful things and we gather once in a while to remember him? That, friends, I suggest to you this morning is living life like driving, looking at the rearview mirror all the time. Jesus is alive. <laughs> and because he's alive and because he promises he is going ahead of us wherever we may go, He's with us. Now again, looking back can be instructive. In fact, for many of us, it can be very easy to look back and see more clearly the fingerprints of God in our lives. To look back at some hard, difficult circumstances or situations and see how by the grace of God He has carried us and brought us through. It's not always so easy to look ahead and see it. I can't tell you what I'm going to learn spending however many weeks I have to in this chair. But I know I'm going to learn. And I know somehow, some way that God will even use something like an accident to teach, to bless, maybe to correct, <laughs> or to chastise, to heal, to give. Jesus, yes, is a part of your and my past. But even more importantly, he is all about our future. And he wants us. He empowers us. He commands us to be people of promise. Now and in the days to come. I used to wonder years ago if life wouldn't be more easily lived if we had a crystal ball and we knew what was coming. It didn't take me very much adult life to come to understand that it's a blessing not to know what the future holds. Because even when I don't know exactly what's out in the future, sometimes I, I suspect you do too, let that future creep into the present and try to steal it away. But Jesus is going ahead of us. No matter what lies in your future or mine. He's able to handle it. And because Christ has taken care of the past by forgiving our sins, because Christ holds the future, you and I are set free to live right now in the present, to receive the gifts of the day, to seek to share joyfully and sacrificially whenever we can, however we can with others and to live in confidence and hope. Because whatever may be laying ahead of you and me, he's got it covered. That's good news. Christ is risen. He is risen Christ is risen. He is risen Christ is risen. He is risen Amen.